Hey guys, Trevor here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to delete system storage on your iPhone. It's pretty quick and easy, so let's jump right in. If your iPhone is running sluggish and it's full of kind of uh, apps and photos and all kinds of different videos and everything, and you need to clear up more space, I'll walk you through the steps to clear up more space. Now, the first thing let's do is head into settings here, and then let's scroll down until we find general, and then once we're in general, we'll tap on iPhone storage. Now, this will pop up with a breakdown of all of the different things that are taking up memory on your iPhone. So if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, you can see system data 12.56 gigabytes and iOS 8.4 gigabytes. And now I can click on both of those and it doesn't give me any options to do anything with those. So those are kind of core files within your iPhone itself and you can't really do much to do, reduce or delete those. However, if you scroll to the very top here, it gives you an option to offload unused apps. So you can say 1.05 gigabytes by enabling this and I'll tap enable. And what this does is it removes the core files from any of the apps that you haven't used in a really long time. And then if you ever wanted to go back and use them, you just tap the app and it'll re-download that app so that you can use it. However, once we've done that, you can see some of the big culprits, photos, mail, and messages are taking up a lot of space on my iPhone. So let's go to say photos and messages. I'm gonna go back out of here and then scroll down until I find messages. Again, I'm gonna scroll down towards the bottom and you can see message history, keep messages for one year. And I can tap on that. And if you have it set for forever, potentially switching it to one year or even 30 days, this will delete all of those photos and videos that you've sent through text message that are older than a year or 30 days. And this will help free up a lot of space on your messages app itself. So this is one way to clear up you know, different old messages. Of course, you won't have those messages or those photos anymore. Um, so you wanna make sure that you're okay with not having anything say a year or older. Now, another thing that you can do to clear up space, remember photos took up a lot of space. So let's get out of here and let's go into our photos and at the very bottom, you can see library for you and albums, and I'll tap albums here. And if you scroll down to the very bottom, you can see an option for recently deleted. I'll tap that. And what you can do is hit select here, and you can say delete all if you want to. And this will delete all of these recently deleted photos because because they're still in your recently deleted, they're still on your iPhone itself taking up memory and everything. So switching them and moving them to recently deleted helps free up a lot of space on your iPhone. So once we've gone through those different steps, another thing of course, is that you can just delete an app that you don't use very often. So potentially if you wanted to delete, um, say TikTok, you can tap and hold on it and hit remove app and delete app and that will save up space if that's an app that you're not really using very much. Now, the last thing that I'll walk you through is to clear the cache on some of the apps that you use. The, this isn't available on most apps, but some apps it is available. So let's go into TikTok here again, and this, you can clear the cache. Let's hit our profile icon at the bottom right, and then the three lines at the top right, and then let's get into settings and privacy. Once you're in here, you can scroll down and you can see under cache and cellular data, clear cache, and I can just tap that and it'll go back down to zero megabytes. So if this is, if you use TikTok a ton or Snapchat has this as well, if you use those apps a ton, then it could have up to like a gigabyte of data in its cache. So you can go in here and clear the cache and that'll help reduce the kind of system files within your iPhone itself as well. Hope this helps. Let us know if you have any questions in the comments below and make sure to subscribe. Thanks.